All right, so I just finished up last night reading Incidents Around the House. That's a new book coming out 25th, so it's right around the corner, I think Tuesday. Uh, it's by Josh Mallerman. This book is a horror novel. Uh, to be fair, I should say I listened to it. I listened to the audiobook. So what is this book about? This book is about uh, Mommy, who has some secrets that we find out early on. It's about Dado, who has some secrets with Mommy that we find out near the end of the book. But it's mostly about Bella, who has some um, secrets, maybe the biggest secrets of all. See, Bella has another Mommy. And other Mommy. And uh, other Mommy likes to hang out in the closet and kind of wants Bella to help her reincarnate or or carnation as bella likes to remember uh, bella's a very young girl and yeah she's she's got a horror story going on in her house i don't normally give despite how i feel about swan song normally i don't give horrors a five star it they're just not my scene i think josh mallerman wrote a four and a half star book which I would obviously round up. However, I listened to the audiobook and Delaney Nicole Gill, she didn't just do this book justice. I feel like she elevated it. When I first started listening to this audiobook and she's doing that little girl voice, I'm thinking, I don't know if I can listen to this for eight hours. But her tone, her inflection, her pauses, emotions, everything. Uh, I have a feeling Josh Meller and Mellerman got done and said, I wrote a pretty good book. And then he listened to the audio book and he's like, I didn't even know it was that good. So if you want to, this is one of those few books where I'm telling you, get the audio book. Absolutely, positively get the audio book. It was done so well. And you will, I've, you, I found myself so wrapped up into this book. Delaney really draws you in. She is Bella. She does a great job in the other voices too, but this this is from Bella's point of view. So she spends most of her time in that voice. And yeah, you just you just find yourself, you feel what Bella feels. Uh, if you want to read the book, like I said, I, I still this is a four and a half easy. Uh, but the audiobook audiobook knocks it out of the park. So Definitely, definitely check this out. The only drawback I had to this book at all is it has a little bit more language than I prefer. So if you don't like cussing, you're, you're not going to want to read this book. If you're fine with that, this book is a five. So, yeah, I, I know I'm, I'm doing a little more horror uh, books than I usually do. I'm usually a little more fantasy. But, uh, yeah, this one sucked me in. I knew it was coming out soon, so I wanted to hear it. It's one of the ones that was on my list of books that I was most anticipating this year. In fact, I think I just need to finally get around and uh, get Bennett's book, and I will have gotten all the ones that I really wanted to, uh, to watch this year. To watch this year. To read this year. It's early. All right. Have a good one, guys. Five-star read. Pick it up. Definitely swing over to Libra.fm and pick up the audiobook. You will not regret it.